Mr. Peter Hesketh, one of the main landowners and founders of the town, originally considering naming this town Wyaton or New Liverpool. But prior to that, he took his maternal ancestor's name. Therefore, in 1831, he decided to name this town Fleetwood. In the beginning, in 1835, he commissioned various sites for a station to be built, especially alongside the River Wire. The original station plan was for the end of London Street, directly from the Mount. That plan wasn't followed. Being the preferred location just by the estuary, the Preston and Wire Railway and Harbour Company Incorporated had the original station built in 1840. A year after officially opening in 1841 for seven years, the line from Preston to Fleetwood was known as the West Coast Main Line. It was known as the West Coast Main Line because there was no railway line that was going from Preston all the way into Scotland because of a rather large lump of soil and rock in the way known as the Lake District, beautiful as it is. They couldn't get the trains over Shap. If you wanted to get up to the lakes or further up to Scotland, this is how far you could go. Anything here, you would then jump onto a packet boat to Ardrossan in Ayrshire to finish your journey. Now imagine this, going back nearly 200 years, if you got a train from London all the way to say Glasgow, it would take you 27 hours. This is one of the reasons why there was hotels and inns here at Fleetwood, not only for people to stay here, use the beaches and the sea resort, but also to stop over before they got onto the boats and continued their journey north. And this is hence why one of the main hotels in the town is called the North Euston. People would often settle here overnight before they continued their journey north. Now, this all came to an end in 1848, once the line was built over Sharp in the lakes and beyond to the borders. The single line track down here originally ran over an embankment with a timber trestle bridge northwards towards the marshy wire estuary. With the station at the far end of the bridge, and due to the amount of traffic, the trestles became unsafe and the railway was rerouted slightly inland. The track was doubled, a new station was built with a good station at the south end of the Queen's Terrace in 1883. The harbour area here in Fleetwood was very extent with many sidings and tracks for all the industries in the area, especially those to transport the fish. The trawler sheds had many railway lines run alongside to transport it across many parts of the region and beyond. Between the platforms and the booking office was waiting rooms and so on. Platforms 1 and 4 were the full length of the station hall being under the glass roof. Platforms 2 and 3 were shorter bay platforms that did not enter the train shed. And platform 5, being the longest, was the boat train platform. That ran along outside the train shed by the eastern side, his entrance just being down here. Now, once a very busy, bustling, well-deserved station, it fell victim to the beaching report commissioned by the government to help salvage an aging network. The line to Fleetwood did not originally appear in the report, but the government's intention was to cut back the railway all across the country. It was called the reshaping of British Railways in 1963, the development of major railway trunk routes in 1965. Stations on this line became victims like the other 2,360 other stations across the national network. So with Queen's Terrence Station closed in Fleetwood in 1966, Fleetwood's wire dock station about half a mile down the line south was renamed Fleetwood. Services between Pottenley Fowl and Fleetwood were withdrawn after the last train on the 30th of May 1970 and then the station was demolished. The line stayed for the wire dock as a light industry it remained in the area and freight like the ICI coal trains ran along the line until 1999 and then the whole line was shut down.
from the start this line was kind of in trouble yeah in its heyday it was very busy with tens of thousands of passengers a month using it but it soon came into financial difficulties the line had originally been underfunded and neglected so much so the board of directors including sir peter hesketh fleetwood had been forced out and the railway had been taken over locally and leased to the manchester and leeds railway as early as 1846 then it was passed to the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway that boosted and invested in most of the dock area and extra stations were built or improved like Thornton and Cleveleys and Singleton Station. They even spent money on potently filed and changed the whole layout of the station and the way the tracks ran to Fleetwood and Blackpool but it never became feasible. With a new port being built at Hesham, taking most of the passengers to the Isle of Man and Ireland, ultimately it brought an end to the sailings. Services to Blackpool, Southport and eventually London were axed just as it seemed the line was destined to close. So the Portland Wire Rail Society have got the access rights to the to the stations and some of the track as well. I'm on Jameson Road right now and the tip is just behind me here and you can see where they've put a nice little hut uh, where the line stopped with a buffer in place. It looks really really pretty. They've done a lot of work around this area. As I was looking across the other side of the road where the bridge is, the gate open here. There's no lock on it and you can go down to the track side where it used to be. So I've not got the right footwear on, but we'll have a little wander down there now. Uh, we'll have a little look, see what we can find. So walking down what seems to be a natural footpath all the way down to the line side itself. There's plenty of brambles and nettles there. I've got to be careful. But in theory, there should be some railway line still on this section down here. Ah, track. So clearly you can still come down here and you can see the track itself. Not sure if the Portland Wire Rail Society have got access to this section and in theory this still is network rail property. But like I said there seems to be a path here where I've just seen people walking a dog beside the railway track itself. And this has to be really my first abandoned railway line. This really is totally overgrown. There is a mass of green vegetation, plants, shrubs of all species and manner. And it would take a mammoth task to clear all this, to get it any closer to where the Fleetwood line is. A little pathway that's down there. Plenty of people obviously use this because the path is well trodden. Little hidey holes in the bushes as well dread to think what goes on down here but uh, while I'm here let's have a little look down here and see what we can find. And closed it has been but not forgotten. Most of the track bed single line railway still remains. Although severed at the Poulton end when they did the electrification upgrade from Blackpool to Preston, the line continues generally from Poultonley Fylde all the way Bernays Jameson Road. It's severed at Jameson Road but continues here again and thus stops short of Fleetwood itself. But this single line track bed is still here, the railway line is still here. Potentially, trains could still run on this section. It's crazy to think at one time when you look at the old photographs of Fleetwood Station itself, the amount of traffic, freight traffic and passenger traffic that used to come along this section. This was a very busy, bustly line. It's not trains that are on the track now. It's plants and animals. Since the 1st of July 2007, Thornton and Cleveland's railway station were leased to the Portland and Wire Rail Society, allowing volunteers to return to the station and the site to make great improvements. They've put up wonderful white picket fences, they've cleared the area of weeds and vegetation, and they've even started to resurface the platform areas itself. 
In April 2013, the Society were granted permission to extend the licence to work on the line towards Burnnays. With all this in mind, it's hoping that they'll run trains on this section once again and take them all the way up to Fleetwood. Granted, not in the same spot, but hopefully not far off. For the life of this railway, history has come and gone so fast and it's changed so very, very much. The passion to keep this railway line alive has never been demolished, it's never been axed and it's never been lost. And I really hope, I really hope that one day train service will return back on this line once more. And never mind for the enthusiasts running heritage stop, it's for the passengers for the passengers of Fleetwood, because Fleetwood really, really needs it. And beyond. Now, now, I always say that. Uh, and snow on, snow on. Ways in 1963. Never mind for the enthusiasts or bring any heritage stock, just for the people of Fleetwood to get their station back. <laughs> we miss you, come back. <laughs> alright, alright already. Yeah, we're dinner done. Time. It's the bell. Oh, it's the bell, it's dinner time. <laughs> it's not really, it's the ferry, it's going across the knot end. If you're ever coming this way though, check it out, it is nice. Get on the tram. It's dinner time now. Yes, dinner time. Never mind the no oh no, it's not, it's yeah, the lifeboat. Last week I missed out on dinner. Oh, lifeboat, bit of action for you. Full of empty promises, you Gordon, not she. Full of empty promises? Yeah. Dinner, didn't get dinner. <laughs> Long Island iced tea, that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, before we disappear, I didn't do this last time. Um, bow, bow. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do this last time, but uh, I intend to do more lost stations as it were. If you've got any material, any photographs of stations around this area in Lancashire, say for now, or maybe a bit in Merseyside, Manchester, send them in to me. Any video footage as well would be much and much appreciated. And uh, well, any recommendations of anywhere that does really good food and even better cocktails? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do it? So, till next time? No way. No, okay. No way. <laughs> we don't do it on this because it's not a normal vlog, but until next time, say that. Bye. Bye.